It's Injustice time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're gonna have a look at the Storm Collectibles. Injustice, Gods Among Us, Doomsday figure. Just the other day I got Dark Side, and boy oh boy was that figure a treat. Big size, great accessories. Overall, very happy with that one. You can still go back and watch that review, but now! Just a couple of days later, after I recorded that, I got Doomsday. And oh my god. It looks like this thing is even bigger, even bulkier, even more muscly, and just an overall monster. So, that would be accurate to what it's supposed to be from the comic books, from the game, but why speculate when I can have a look at it right now? Big, 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 he's big. Let's have a look at the size real quick. I don't know, I just had to get that out of my system because he's you. Stands at about 26 centimeters to the top of his head, which means we're going up to 10.2, 10.1.5 inches tall. So uh, he's actually bigger than Darkseid, which we just had the other day. Problem, however, is Darkseid was from Injustice 2. Doomsday was only in Injustice 1. And the thing about this, I just wanted to bring this up real quick, because aesthetically he's kind of weird. He's got the weird Injustice 1, like tiny, tiny head, big, bulky guy, but just like, eh. They have the same kind of design for Bane, which I don't, then, I don't know if I'm gonna get that one. But anyway, just for perspective, here's the Oxide. So first and foremost, he's bigger than that one. But I really want to focus more on like, look at proportionally, Darkseid looks good, he has the big hat, also has like kind of the helmet going around, but still, me, 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 bleh, okay, so that's kind of an issue, it is still game accurate, but that is the problem with making Injustice 1 characters versus making Injustice 2 characters. Now still, that doesn't hurt the overall look and detail of the figure, because he looks fantastic. I love the drying brushing that's going on throughout the body, you got the white all over the place and it really makes it look like bones and that's really the thing, it should look like bones, that's kind of like Doomsday's thing. You got red eyes which are a bit shiny, they are, he's squinting a bit so you don't really see it that much but overall it is a nice mold, he has the open mouth, also pretty spiky and like I'm saying the thing that really pops for me is the dry brushing with the white. Then you got the braid in the back, and we got another big spot of bones in the back as well. I mean, you could say it looks a little bit messy as they just kind of went over it very quickly, but uh, I don't, I don't hate it. I like the effect overall, and I like that it's kind of bleeding over all the the spots over here. It makes it look good. Also, it has small white parts on the skin tone all over the body, and you have all the bones sticking out, all the claws, all the uh, just really really a lot of horns going on I almost want to call them horny but there you go also on the forearm and of course the Berg fists which uh, he has a fist that's bigger than his head I think yeah that's just weird anyway just want to get away from the weird aesthetics of the design design? design as for the pants, you got a back belt buckles going on and the belt's going all around. Um, very nicely painted also, there is not really an issue here, no bleeding going on. And there seems to be some shading. There's definitely some darker parts over here. It is a bit random, but it makes it look that much better because it would have looked kind of plain compared to all the other paint work that has been going into the figure. So great consistency and we got some more bone detail. And just like the, t the texturing overall, also on the skin tone, you got some veins and whatnot. It looks really darn good. And then you got the big toners, which are a bit more shiny, with some more veins. And yeah, overall the muscle work is fantastic, and the body mold is fantastic, and the look is awesome, the paint is awesome. One more thing I do have to note though, which I kind of forgot, is the chest seems a bit narrow. However, that could be like a bit of an optic illusion. I feel like they should have done a little bit more plastic over here. Because like, I feel like this, the size going out is okay, but it's kind of just weirdly how you got these floaty pieces. Trying to cover up the holes, and also depending on how they rotate out, it just looks wonky. It just would have been better if they made a bigger chest piece, which also likes to slide around. As it is soft plastic, you can wiggle it around, and as you move them around, it kind of tends to go 
in one direction or the other just kind of getting off sync with the figure now i want to get over to the articulation you got the head that moves actually on the ball itself back forth does tilt side to side and does go all the way around also have the brake in the back which unfortunately is not is not movable while in a way like there's no hinge or ball joint in there but as it is soft plastic rubbery you can kind of drape it over the shoulder and it will stay in place fairly nicely so there's some posing to be had with that and as i'm saying they left a lot of room in the head so that's pretty good then you got the entire neck joint move that one forward move it to the back and does also tilt side to side quite nicely then you got your big arms over here with the hinges on the side and they are connected to the torso you can rotate that around and as i'm saying this piece just kind of rotates all over the place it's not really held in place and it's kind of annoying it doesn't really disrupt anything but yeah like i'm saying kind of annoying bicep swivel the big big bicep swivel as everything kind of rotates around and you got the double hinged elbow Goes up nice enough, considering, like, look at this muscle work. Jesus. Then you have the fist, goes back, forward, swivel, and the entire chest area bends forward quite a bit. Let me get the arm out of the way. Let me actually get the arm out of the way. So you can bend that forward all the way and also to the back. Now you're getting a really good look at it. Does leave a gap. You can try to pull this down, but I don't think it will work. So if you're going, I mean you're going all the way back. Then you tilt side to side and also rotation. But that noise ugh, hurts my ears. And then you got uh, rotation at the hips. Also some black and forward. Same thing over here. I feel like the pan part could have been a little bit bigger. Also he seems a little bit pudgy over here. I know it's muscles but it's just kind of weird how it sticks out. Anyway, back and forth, side to side, rotation. Crotch piece, soft plastic, legs move forward, legs move out to the side. They are a little bit wobbly and this one, is this one stuck? What is this? It? This one seems to be stuck because that's how much I get out of this one. Rotates on that, also rotates on the ball and also goes to the back. Didn't show that yet. As I'm saying, it does, it is, it does still stay in place, but just be careful with it. Double hinge knee, knee, there you go. And the foot is on another ball hinge back, forward pivot to the outside very nice oh no there you go i thought to the inside wouldn't work so well but it does and a toe hinge which is actually fairly nice to hidden it looks good and there you go and then for your accessories you don't really have much going on but it is doomsday so you don't really need anything else he's not a flashy guy he's a punch in the face kind of guy got the open mouth it's kind of purple inside of his face inside of his mouth but still, paint job is nice. Got the uh, little bit more shiny eyes and the dreadlocks or braid or whatever you want to call it. And you have some more grabby hands, booby grab hands. The best kind of hands. Very shiny on the fingernails also. And finally, you got the open, kind of stretched out fingers. Not completely stretched, but, you know, good enough. Excellent. And that's really it. There's nothing else in here. Final thoughts! This guy is an absolute unit and just like the dark side figure, I love it! Mm. He's big and muscly, paint job is amazing, it looks great with the bleeding and whatnot all over the, the spikes. Uh, no problem there, there's tons of detail in the mold itself, in the body mold, there's shading, there's like dark spots, there's lighter, brighter spots and it just really pops. I don't have a single issue with it, also even in the pants, like there, there's shading all over the place and it really makes it look great. The articulation is a Storm Classic, there is not anything to complain about. Uh, the soft plastic really helps everything just move around freely. Uh, you don't have a lot of accessories, but as I mentioned, it is Doomsday. Dooms what do you need with Doomsday? Maybe like a rock? Like a rock to hurl at somebody? Like, I don't know. Uh, like a Superman hat. <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, the only kind of problem I have with this figure, and I say problem because uh, it's not really their fault, it's the design. It's the weird Injustice 1 design, but to be fair, Doomsday was not an Injustice 2, so that's fine. They made a Bane based on Injustice 1, but Bane was Injustice 2 and looked a lot better there, but that's uh, maybe for another time. I don't know if I'm going to pick that one up, but still, uh, this figure is amazing. This figure is uh, game accurate and has a presence. Amazing paint job and articulation is also 
on point as such i will recommend this one because it is an amazing looking doomsday with size articulation and everything you really need i feel like i'm repeating myself so i'm gonna end it right here that's gonna do it guys as usual thank you very much for watching don't forget if you enjoyed this review hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews card game stuff and whatever doomsday wants how about like a superman figure could you make like a superman figure stone there is nothing confirmed for that yet i need a superman